Hey guys, it seems like this season has been a rough one for pests. We know a lot of people who have struggled from pest pressure with their plants, and we certainly have, maybe you have. So today we wanted to go over three non-toxic solutions for dealing with pests. This, these ways are not toxic for your plants, for the soil, or for your health. Our first method for preventing pests is to use a form of protection or a barrier of some kind. So I have here a half of a cup. It's a half of a plastic cup that you get at the grocery store. And I've just been putting them around our little dahlias that keep coming up and they just keep getting eaten immediately. And so I've been trying this and it's actually been working pretty well. And if you have a larger scale garden, this method works great for a smaller scale garden like me. Or if you're like starting out, you've got, you know, you bought your first five dahlias ever and like one of them was $20 and you feel really nervous about that. Plant them in the ground and then just put a cup over it right away. So a larger scale garden, you wanna do insect netting with hoops. That's a great option, especially if you're going to save money by investing some money in your crop. And then the third option, this would be if you have a smaller garden because it's not very economical, but it's like having, if you have raised beds, you can actually build frames with something like chicken wire or some sort of netting. So if you have something like blueberries, that type of protection, for your plant would work really well. But so hypothetically, if you, you know, this isn't very large, so hypothetically your dahlia is gonna get much bigger than the size of this cup. And so in the perfect world, you are just trying to protect your plant until they get to a certain point where they can kind of just protect themselves through their size. So at a certain point, if dahlia gets some pest damage, something gets eaten off the leaves, it's big enough that it's actually gonna be okay and it will just keep growing. But if they're small and the dahlias have two leaves and both of them get eaten off, then you're not ever gonna get a dahlia ever. So this could save you this season. The second way that we are preventing our plants from getting shredded by pests is by setting traps. Now this is a really simple trap. It actually, it's so effective it has already worked in just the time that I've stood here, a little bug flew right in there. So this is very attractive to bugs. What I'm holding here is just the bottom half of the, of the cup that Cassidy showed earlier that she used to protect the plant. This bottom part, we just filled up with sourdough starter. And if you don't have sourdough starter, there's other things you can use. I like the sourdough starter because it's kind of an, it's just a natural substance. It's of organic, of course, which is just a nice little treat before the earwigs die by drowning in it. Basically, the idea of this is that you place this somewhere somewhat nearby where your plants are getting a lot of pressure and this is just more attractive for the pest and so they crawl in here they get stuck they drown it's awful here i've got a really nasty one this is quite a bit more shallow but there's like a beetle in there there's a couple flies or a couple moths a bunch of earwigs really nasty actually but this is a fresh one we're going to put this one in and you just kind of want to bury it in there a little bit so that they don't have too much trouble getting in earwig infestation or slugs or something like that this man this does the trick they just like love i think they, i mean you can smell it and they're attracted to it so like i said you can use sourdough starter you could also a lot of people use beer if you have some normal just like straight up yeast like conventional yeast you can stir that up with some water and sugar and the pests will be attracted to that. You could probably put out sugar water and that would work. But you basically just want to put something out there that is a carbohydrate that bugs and insects will be attracted to away from your plant. So you want to plant it in the general area, but maybe, you know, just so that they, it, wherever it is that you're facing the most amount of pressure. So our third option is a natural pesticide. So this is a pesticide that we make that you can put in a spray bottle and just spray your plants with it. It's super easy to use. You just water your garden and then you come back out with your spray bottle, you spray everything down and it's good until the next time you water it, which here in Eastern Washington is like every other day. This is the Jadam wetting agent mixed with a pepper garlic extract. So we make our own little spicy pepper spray the wetting agent combines with it as basically a way for it to stick to the leaves because it's kind of like soap 
So you take the, a little bit of wetting agent, a little bit of your pepper spray, some distilled water, has to be distilled water for the wetting agent to work. And you put it in your spray bottle and then you can just spray away, spray all your plants. We will have a video later on specifically how to make the wetting agent and the pepper spray. So look for that. I highly recommend. It is a little bit more tricky than some of the other amendments we've made, but it's totally worth the effort. So look for that how-to video coming soon. All right guys, those are our three non-toxic ways of dealing with pests this summer. I really hope that some of those were helpful to you. You should really give them a try. You know, if you want to, if you're just starting out, time to protect your plants. If you want to have some sourdough starter or something, just throw it in a little cup and see what happens. Also be coming out with a video on how exactly to make that in very shortly. So be on the lookout for that. If you have any other methods for how you deal with pests in your garden, please let us know in the comments. We would love to know that. We'll try it. And other people would probably benefit from that. So, you know, if you have any other techniques or if you agree with this or if this has worked for you or hasn't, let us know. We would love to hear that. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this in the future.